Hey art friends, welcome to today's how to. Today we'll be learning how to draw crafty corn from Poppy Playtime 3. So first let's get started by drawing in the eyebrows. On the top right hand side we're going to curve this line up and then down. Moving across towards the left now, let's arch this line up and then back down again. Moving over towards the middle now, we're going to curve this line around and then in for the bottom of the hair. And then moving over towards the left hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then further out, bringing that up on the left hand side. For the nose now, moving down in the middle, let's curve this line around and then in. And now let's continue to extend this line all the way up and over on the right. In the center now, we're going to draw two small sesame seed shapes to arch out on opposite sides of each other. To close off the rest of the mouth now, on the left hand side, let's arch this line around and then in towards the middle. And then on the right hand side, starting at that corner, let's curve this line around, blending that in. For the tongue now, we're going to curve this line around and across. And then on the left hand side, we're going to arch that line around and then down. Let's quickly draw in our eyes. So on the top right hand side, we're going to draw in a small arch line from left to right. On the right hand side, we're going to draw in a curved line, bringing that down towards the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing on the left, bringing that further down. In the center now, we're going to draw in a small oval shape for the pupil of the eye. Coming over towards the left now, we're going to draw a curved line that arches around and then down towards the nose. And then we'll do the same thing on the left, bringing that down and in. Moving underneath now, we're going to draw in another oval shape, bringing that in towards the bottom of the hair. Now let's draw in the shape of the bottom of the face. So coming across, we're going to curve this line around and then in towards the middle. And then moving down on a diagonal on the left hand side, we're going to curve this around back in. To the left of this, we're going to draw a curved line arching that up. On the top now for the ear, we're going to curve this line around and then in. Starting in that corner, we're going to curve this line up and then across. And then now from here, we're going to start back on that line, curving this line around and then in again towards the middle. And then now from here, we're going to curve this line around and then down. In the center, we're going to draw a small curved line from left to right. On the top, let's curve this up. And then starting at that point, we're going to arch this back down. To close off the top of the hair now, we're going to start back on this line, curving this line around and then down. And then starting at that point again, let's curve this across towards the ear. On the left hand side for our left ear, we're going to bring a small dag and a line out. And then we're going to curve it back around and in towards the side. For the unicorn horn now, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. On the left hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then in. And then we'll do the same thing on the right, bringing that in towards a point. In the middle, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. And we're going to do this two times in total. Let's move further down towards the side now. We're going to draw a curved line that arches in towards the cheek. On the right hand side, we're going to curve this line around and then in. And then we're going to start at that point again, curving this around and then back up. Let's draw in the flower in the middle. So coming down on a diagonal, we're going to draw in a small circle in the middle. On top of this now, we're going to curve this line around and then down. We're going to continue to come around, bringing this further in. Again, coming underneath that, we're going to curve that around and then down. As we come across, we'll replicate that. And now one last time, we're going to bring this up and then back down. Moving over to the right of this now for the shoulder, we're going to curve this line out and then across. On the top again, we're going to curve this line around and then down. Starting at that point, let's arch this line around 
and then in, connecting that together. And now from here, let's draw a curved line from left to right. For the body now, we're going to draw a small diagonal line on the top. And then coming underneath that, we're going to continue to extend this around and then in. For the left arm now, we're going to curve this line around and then across. And then starting at that point, let's arch this line around and then back in towards the side of the stomach. On the top in this corner, we're going to curve this line around and then up. And then moving further down again, we'll replicate that. For the leg now, we're going to curve this line around and then across. And then moving over, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes down, ending that at the same height. And now let's draw a curved line from left to right, closing that off. Let's move further up again and replicate that. Moving underneath the stomach, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes down. And then moving across on the right, we'll replicate that. And then now from here, we're going to curve this line around and then in towards our right leg. Let's draw on the tail now. So on the right hand side, let's curve this line around and then in. Starting at that point, we're going to continue to curve this line around and then up. We're going to curve this line back around and then in. And then moving underneath this, we're going to continue to curve this line around and then in towards our hand. And that is it. That's how you draw Crafty Corn from Poppy Playtime 3. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial, and I will see you all on the next one.